How to simplify powers of i. To do this, we use what is called the imaginary wheel. You always start at the top and move clockwise. So we're going to start at i and move this way. For our simple examples, we have i to the fifth. So we start at the top and we move to five. One, two, three, four, five. That means our answer is i. For the next one, it's i to the third. So we go one, two, three. So the answer is negative i. For a little bit bigger number, we still do the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The answer is 1. These are the only four answers you can ever get. i, negative 1, negative i, and 1. Now for a little bit more complex examples, these are much bigger numbers as you can tell, and I doubt anyone really wants to count 170 times around the circle. So what we do is we use a calculator for bigger exponents. And to do this, we hit the second button, the decimal button, which has an I, the caret button, and then you type in whatever that number is. So in this case, it's 170. So we type in 170 equals. Now it gives us this weird answer we have here. Well, what you have to do is you have to look for the E. When you see the E, you forget about everything that's in front of it and behind it, directly in front of it and directly behind it. So the answer for this one would be the negative one. Now for this one, it is 80,001. So we're gonna go second decimal up 80,001 equals. Now this looks weird too. So we find the E, we get whatever is on the directly right and left, and all that's left is I. So the answer to this one, is I. I'm just kidding. And that's it.